Hi, welcome to Price Action Analysis with me, Jan Moda, Chief Market Analyst for TO Markets. And today I'm going to take you through USD CAD and some other USD pairs. Please go and subscribe to the channel so that you get an update each time there is a new video. And please do remember that even though we do have some success every now and then, we don't provide investment advice. And only proceed watching this video if you if you agree with this disclaimer. The views expressed in this presentation are our opinions only and are made available purely for educational purposes and marketing purposes. And they do not constitute as investment advice. Only proceed watching if you agree. USD CAD has been moving sideways since yesterday and let's take a look at the technical picture here. So basically what we have is the market moving outside <clears throat> this regression channel here. We have some news coming into the marketplace that maybe there is more oil supply coming up which would basically pressure the Canadian dollar and would help in you know, anybody who wants to be bullish on the US dollar against the Canadian dollar. But um, we are not out of the woods yet. We pointed out to a couple of levels in today's analysis at tiermarkets.com uh, slash analysis. And here are the most important levels at the moment. So uh, let's go actually, um, Let's go and try to widen this up a little bit so that you can see better. So um, I'm looking at this uh, roughly this area here as a, as a resistance area for the market at the moment. So 3143 needs to be penetrated before this market can really take off and move higher. And the most important support we have is here the yesterday's low at the moment. So if the market now stays above it and then manages to push above 31.44, then I think there's a really good chance that the market will push into the next uh, important area. And that is a 23.6 Fibonacci level. The market keeps on banging the support now. Let's see if it holds or if the market goes deeper. But if there is a turnaround, then I think here's our target one. And then after that, the next target level is where we have some technical thing, technical factors coming together. We have a low from 6th of October. We have the 50 period moving average and the 38 point, 38.2 uh, Fibonacci level there. So that's very likely a good target um, to, to, sorry, good second target there. So that is obviously conditional for them to the market breaking this resistance at the moment. It's trying to go deeper below this support here. And if that happens, then obviously the next important uh, support level. Let's see where that might be. So the next key level is visible here in the daily time frame. It's the September 1st low here around 29.1994, depending on your platform. But that's really the September the 1st low is the, is the next key level if the current support is taken out. So this market definitely goes on to our watch list and we will be interested in. We said in today's analysis that we are looking for buy signals above this yesterday's low. But if there aren't any and if the price just keeps on going lower and pushing through, then obviously there is um, the long idea for today isn't valid anymore. What would make it really valid would be the market breaking, breaking above the 31, uh, 43, 44 resistance. Let's see what the other markets are doing. Obviously, when we are trading US dollar, there are quite a few other markets that we are interested in. So bear with me a moment and I'll bring you bring up the other charts. And here we have USD Swiss. 
which is kind of looking similar but a little stronger I would say so let's see um basically the market is breaking out of this regression channel also after it found support here at 9081 so kind of similar setup these are highly correlated markets so I wouldn't be you know I would be surprised if something else happened but basically we are seeing some dollar strength at these levels and obviously the question is where are the key levels now key resistances here's the next hurdle at 91.23 or so the market has to obviously move above in order to have a, a more sort of more sus sustained rally and but if the market moves above this, if if the market keeps on making higher lows here and then manages to get above this resistance here, I would say that it is very likely that we get a move to the next important technical confluence area. And that is actually, let, let's not go there yet, the, the next confluence area is here. It's basically the 50 period moving average plus the 38.2% Fibonacci level there. So um, I think it makes sense to look at this level the first as a first target really. And after this, um, it is the next confluence area where we have the 50% uh, Fibonacci resistance or retracement level. And the uh, this is from the October 8th high and uh, there we have 91.97 or so resistance. So I think it really makes sense to have the target to here. So if the market moves above 91.24 and then sustains a rally, then I think we have a good chance of market moving first to the target area of 91.50 and to 91.69 so 91.50 to 91.70 roughly and then the target to area 91.84 to 92.03 so roughly there let's see what else there is obviously euro usd is a highly important market and we're going to touch that as well but before going there let's look at usd yen Okay, and here we have USD Yen in four hour resolution. So what do we have here? Market looks kind of similar. It has broken out from this regression channel and has since made higher lows. The support here is at 105.20 and looking at the Fibonacci's, I'm, I'm seeing this 50 period moving average coinciding with the 50% retracement level. So that looks like a decent target if this uh, strength continues. Uh, but obviously the 105.20 is the key level here. If the market stays above it, there's a good chance that we get a move there. But at the moment, um, we are we have rallied for three consecutive candles so I wouldn't be surprised if there was some bit of um, you know pullback before market maybe making a higher low and then moving up here but that's something that we just have to wait and see and follow the price action on our on our charts um, the next significant level I'm looking at I think I, I think I'm looking at this area really basically because we have the 78.6% uh, Fibonacci retracement level there roughly coinciding with the top. We had this top formation where the price found support around this level and then dropped lower. So I'm seeing this as the next significant uh, resistance area. So if this strength continues we have the target one area at 105.60 to 105.70 roughly and after that 105.86 to 95 or so so that's what i'm seeing here and let's go and see the euro usd now all right here's euro usd also in four hour time frame 
and as you can see the market is attracting buyers at this support here the level that used to be resistance is now support and it's coinciding with the channel low so no surprise there that buyers came in and started buying here and want to see if there is continued buying to sort of follow through buying to take this market higher and um, um, you know for those other markets the CAD and yen and Swissy to go higher we really need to see euro USD failing because they obviously are highly correlated negatively highly correlated with euro USD so euro has to go down in order for those to go up here we have um, a little bit of uh, wedging going on so that's that's a slight negative there and if the market now creates another lower high or another high that stays within the wedge that builds up pressure against this uh, channel low um, obviously that remains to be seen and we all we can do is to uh, believe what the price tells us and uh, we have to update our views on uh, many times a day so obviously all these videos will be always just a, a quick kind of a screenshot really on what's happening with uh, the markets at the time of publication or recording of the video really so um, but we can see some some weakness there and if the market was to break below this this low here um, we would be looking at based on this basically based on this width of the wedge and making a projection from the breakout point we would be looking at a back move back into that channel high so we have this regression channel here when euro was trending lower now if the euro just keeps on going higher and um, obviously now there is only about 21 minutes before this candle closes and when that once that closed then this candle is a bullish signal obviously so then we have um, it's it's likely that the market will push towards this latest high and then we'll see if it will take take this out and and push further now let's follow what's happening here and before we go i just want to give you one more update and this is on cable and here we have pound usd also in four hour time frame and as you can see we pointed out to this level yesterday being an important support and so it was the price bounced higher from yesterday and again today so that really enforces the idea that the traders are willing to sort of step in or at least they were willing to step in here again obviously keep pounding a support and it will break eventually but at the moment we have the whole sort of in the bigger picture the momentum is to the upside as a whole market is trending higher and it is moving up from a base so we have this inverted head and shoulders where we have the head and two shoulders on the sides but at the same time you can see this hesitation in this market you can see how the 50% uh, Fibracci level that we referred to yesterday we basically said that it's likely that the market will move there and only after that it can move to the other target levels up there so the move came but the channel high together with this and with the fact that we have sluggish downside movement in CAD, Swissy and Yen all those things come together here and you can see this is why the cable is also struggling a bit although it is really breaking out from a major or not major but important uh, base so the key levels to look at are obviously this low here and if the market breaks lower then we have this high let me take one line off I think there was yeah there was one too many so uh, 29.69 or 29.70 or so 
is a support level now and after that we are looking at the 50 period moving average at 29.52 and so there's a support area from 29.50 to say roughly 29.10 so I think if the market moves down here the buyers will again try to move this market up from these levels obviously if there is something violent happening in the market if the market just plummets through then that's a different story but that usually means that there is some negative news on on sterling and then all the bets are off the table because the big money is looking to reposition itself before other big money players and that usually causes violent market moves that go through uh, technical levels but as long as there are no surprises markets tend to trade within the technical guidelines so what we have here in the bigger picture is a market that is breaking out from or has broken out from this base formation and the next level after the 50% is around here the 61.8 Fibonacci so let's see how it goes if the dollar strengthening continues if euro USD drops below that channel then there it's likely that cable is also going to suffer and can't move higher but as usual we don't know what's going to happen in the future so let's just keep on following the charts and keep on updating the views on our by hour and bar by bar basis as a general rule you really need to look at each time frame only once uh, per bar so if you are following the four hour uh, charts say then it's enough to look at the four hour charts at when the bar closes if you are following hourly charts obviously then you just check the charts once per hour okay i think that's enough from me this time that's all i had for you today so thank you for your time trade safe and i look forward to seeing you on the next video